Hey, what's up guys? Mike here, back with another video. And in this one, we're gonna talk about Pure CM for the OnePlus 3. Now you're probably thinking, Pure CM, what is that? Uh, it's a Cyanogen based ROM and it's pretty awesome. Feature packed, super stable and reliable. Been rocking it for the past couple days. No issues here. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the features. Now, one of the first ones to talk about that I really like is your quick setting toggle. So you are going to see that it has this button here that has this edit tiles feature. When you press on this, you are going to get the option to add or remove specific tiles. And they pretty much give you everything out there that you could possibly want. Now, if you swipe all the way over to the left when you have this mode enabled, you also get some more advanced features as well. So you can actually show the weather if you want to, which may require a soft reboot and your GPS toggled on, of course. And then you also have the enlarge or disable the enlarge first row set of icons or quick setting toggles. So pretty awesome stuff there with the Sanogen mod on this particular ROM. Now, in these settings, when we dive into this, we get our advanced features and there's some pretty great stuff in here as well. The first one that comes up is going to be sounds. Everything in here is going to be pretty standard except for three things. Now you do have dual SIMs on the OnePlus 3, so you can actually enable specific ringtones for each SIM card. And at the very bottom, you also have this vibration motor intensity sensor. So tap on that and you can adjust that to pretty much anything you want. Now when we go back right under the sound options we have display and lights and in here we're going to get some pretty badass stuff. Uh, you have your live display settings so you can actually toggle specific color temperatures so you can go in here and adjust these to whatever values you want based on day and night modes and a cool thing here is that in our quick setting toggles we actually have a button right there to enable each specific toggle so you can just tap on that and get on to your color profile display mode right there. You can also do it manually, as I just showed you. Now you do have automatic outdoor mode, so this will just enable maximum brightness, should you want to use that. And you have some other advanced features down here at the bottom. Color calibration, picture adjustment, and reduce power consumption. So you can actually, you know, make that screen not use up as much power, which saves battery life overall. Furthermore, we do have even more options. So you can use double tap to wake or sleep. So you can see here, if I double tap on the status bar, double tap anywhere, we're back in business. And you can also hit that prevent accidental wake up on your priority sensor up there if you want that feature. So if nothing's going on in your pocket or when you're not near your device. Now, if we go down furthermore, we have even more features here. You got expanded desktop, so you can actually enable full screen mode and specific applications are in everything. Uh, you also have LCD density baked in, so you can actually change your DPI modes. I leave mine at 440, pretty sweet spot, I think. You can disable or enable that show status bar or the search bar rather in your recents. And then in lights, you have battery light and notification lights. So you can adjust the colors based on your notifications or battery information, or you can just completely disable them if you don't want to use your LED indicator for some reason. Right below that, we have notifications. And in here, you can actually change your toggles for heads up or force heads up notifications. So if you don't want to get those pesky little heads up notifications, you can disable this completely or go about filtering what you want or don't want popping up on your display. In your lock screen, you do have some pretty awesome stuff here as well. You can do a direct show view pattern. You can make pattern visible so you can actually see what you're doing in terms of your pattern unlocking or you can hide that so people can't figure out your pattern. You can even disable the dots so you will never see the dots on the screen. People will just be clueless of how to get in, maybe even yourself. We have the music visualizer. So if you're listening to some kind of music or podcast and you are on the lock screen, it will show you a visualizer. Uh, you can also blur the background. So if you don't have a specific wallpaper set for your lock screen background, it will just blur the task that you were previously using in the backdrop, so that's pretty cool. Show weather if you want that, and furthermore, you do have lock screen shortcuts, so you can completely disable those lock screen shortcuts on the side, on the left and right, or you can add something specific application based if you wanna launch those from your lock screen. Below that, we do have our buttons, so in here, we first have the backlight. So since the OnePlus 3 has backlights down here, if you use the hardware keys, you can go and set these to any value you want. Now on the OnePlus 3 stock firmware, I noticed that these only last like two seconds, three seconds, and that's a little disappointing to be honest because they go off way too quickly. So the five seconds is pretty nice, but you can enable that to whatever you want, or you can just keep it on for indefinite. You can also enable the software keys. So if you don't want to use your hardware, you can use the software keys. Now, if you do enable this, you get some more features. You can do a left-handed mode in the landscape orientation. You also have some other features here like double tap to sleep on the nav bar if you want to do that and the status bar so that's pretty cool and you can also change the button layout so you can go in here swap these buttons around you can add more buttons menu search buttons you can get pretty customized 
So you can actually adjust your power menu button. You can choose screenshots, airplane modes, sound panels. So once you long press on that, you'll see now I have more options here. And furthermore, we even have the option to end a call with the power button if you want. Uh, you can answer your calls with the home button. So if you want to answer a phone call, you don't have to hit the actual ringer. Now you can also set long press actions and double tap actions for each hardware button. Or if you want to use the software buttons, you can do the same thing. So for instance, if I do my recents and I do a long press, it goes back to the last app I used. And then below that you have volume rocker button actions. So you can actually wake up the device with your volume rockers if you want to, for whatever reason, or you can use that for playback control. Furthermore, we have additional buttons. So you can go in here and see you can swap buttons. So this will actually make this the recents over here, and this will make it the previous app. Gestures, you get your standard one plus three gestures or one plus gestures in general. So you can do the circle for a camera, the V for flashlights, you want the music options you can do that as well and you can disable the vibration feedback ambient display you get some really cool options here so you can enable ambient display you can do a straight up pickup always enable or you can do a hand wave like the moto active display and you also have the pocket as well so pulse notifications on removal from pocket so it's a little bit smart it knows when you're moving it and it will probably access your priority or your proximity sensor if you go in the pocket mode. So it's very smart about that. If we scroll down a little more, we get our theme manager, our theme manager, which is Cyanogen based. So CM themes will be enabled on this particular ROM. And below that we have status bar. So you can actually adjust what's on your status bar. Uh, you can centralize your clock. You can put it on the right or the left and you can completely hide it if you want to. You can disable your icons if you want. So you don't have to see the airplane mode for one. I can disable that. And then you can also add AM PM, so you can add dates. You can get into very specific styles, formats, and you can enable your battery percentage within the icon next to the icon or completely hide it. Got your brightness control here, so you can adjust your brightness by sliding on the top here instead of actually going into the actual slider. And then we have our quick pull down options, which goes from right or left, or you can completely disable it, go back to two finger only. But yeah, that pretty much sums up this ROM guys. Everything else is going to be pretty straightforward. I mean, you do have a weather option, but everything else is pretty typical here. Pretty awesome ROM, very feature dense, very feature heavy, but not overly complicated. It's pretty straightforward. It's all broken down for you. Really like the quick setting enable mode here where I can do specific additional functionality. I can add and remove very simply. If you long press, you can delete it, take it straight to the trash can or move your toggles around. And we have some really great advanced features. So yeah, this is a great ROM. Now, the only thing I didn't cover was battery life, but right now I'm at about 88%. Got about one day, nine hours left. And if you see my screen on time, I'm rocking already one hour and a half. So one hour and a half with 88% still remaining a screen on time there. And this is with the stock kernel that's supplied with it, the Cyanogen mod based kernel. I'm not running Elemental X or anything else just yet, not trying that out, but just running full stock, pure CM, and it's pretty awesome. Now I have been at about 50% until I started recording this. I had to go down a little bit so it shows up nice on camera. It's not overly bright. So I mean, I am pretty low on brightness there, but still about an hour on battery at 88, 90% pretty awesome. But yeah, that pretty much sums up pure CM for the one plus three. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Go download this bad boy. I got the links in the description below. If you want to check it out, leave feedback, subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.